Right now, I've got some onions, one onion to be exact, uh, diced up and sautéing in some avocado oil. And right here, I am dicing up some peppers I just got out of my freezer. You can still see the ice here in the bag. Um, that we, When we got these from the food bank, we cut them like for fajitas. But since I'm not using them for fajitas, I'm going to just dice them to put them in there with those peppers. I'm going to get these diced. I don't know how many of the bag I'm going to use, but until I feel like it's enough. All right, so I ended up adding about a cup and a half of chopped vegetables. I'm just going to stir them and let them simmer down until they're nice and tender and translucent. So I decided I'm going to make two dishes. In here I have about 18 eggs. Oops. And I'm going to add some heavy whipping cream. And we'll whisk that together. Mm. The amount of cream you add will vary depending on the amount of eggs. Um, like this to me seems too thick, too gloppy. If that makes sense, if that's a word. So I will be adding a little more cream. If I had less eggs, I would add less cream. So, there you go. Get this whisked together. Oh, my veggies are almost done. Um, but I decided to add a little jalapenos. So I got these canned jalapenos. They're in juice. I'm not going to drain them. I'm just going to add, like, probably a spoon and a half those in there maybe a little bit of the juice and we'll just let those cook down into the veggies it's gonna give it just a little bit of spice just a little kick so I take the leftover jalapeno and I divide it into containers and I just freeze these or if you were gonna use it soon you could just put it in a bowl in your fridge all right so since I'm making two dishes um, I've got those ready and I'm just gonna spray them with some olive oil spray Get them sprayed down. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is add the peppers into the pan evenly. Um, doesn't really matter, just kind of sprinkle them throughout there so you get half your onions in each pan. All right. All right, so in these, I'm going to be adding the smoked ham. Um, I'm just going to crumble it on top, my hands clean. There was a little liquid, I just um, drained it. And then I'm just using my hand to kind of sprinkle it so that it's broken up on top here. You could use it in a fork with a bowl or, you know, to mash it up, however you feel comfortable. But know that I'm a hands-on girl and <laughs> my hands will be touching all the food, okay? All right, I'm going to do the same with this other one. And then I'll wash my hands again. Do you guys like um, making things up as you go along? When I started this recipe, I wasn't sure what I was going to put in it. I just knew I wanted peppers and onions. And then I was like, oh, I've got that canned ham. I'll use that. And yeah, just kind of, I mean, if you like chicken, you could put chicken, whatever you want, pretty much. Bacon, sausage. All right, let me wash my hands. All right, so I decided last minute uh, to go ahead and put these in one of the dishes because my husband really likes these. Now, I personally don't care for these. I like them fresh. I don't like them canned or cooked or anything like that. I just like them raw. But he likes them, and I got these at the food bank, and I thought, well, hey, it's this or spaghetti sauce, and I'm not making spaghetti today or any kind of noodle stuff, so why not just throw it in here? I think it will be delicious. So I'm just dicing them up and get them in there. Do you guys prefer them? Um, do you prefer this item cooked or raw? Comment below, because I really, I could seriously eat an entire package if they were raw. But cooked, I'm not eating any. <laughs> Okay, next we'll be sprinkling about a cup of sharp cheddar cheese on top. 
and you just kind of want to sprinkle it throughout. Um, this is an eight, actually a half a cup of cheese because this is an eight ounce bag and I'm putting half on this one and half on the other. So there you go. Four ounces of cheese on the whole thing. All right, then lastly, you will pour your egg mixture over and I'm just gonna try to divide this in half. I don't know how close I'm gonna get, but if one's bigger, that's okay. have to but if you want you can kind of mix it a little bit to make sure everything's mixed in and that um, all your stuff is under the egg that way you'll make sure that it mixes good and you get a good bite of everything and every bite of egg when these are done you'll cool them in a little bit and then just cut them into squares all right, I just realized as I was putting these in the oven, I didn't put any seasoning. And I usually do salt and pepper right in my egg mixture. So I heard and pulled them out, and I'm just going to salt the top and then go ahead and just stir it again real quick um, with that spoon just a little bit to kind of, so it doesn't just sit right on top. Let me grab a spoon. Um, I would suggest seasoning your egg mixture before you pour it. All righty, so I just took them out of the oven. This is the one I made without the mushrooms. This is the one with the mushrooms. Um, they're still pretty warm. I'm gonna go ahead and get some of this put in this dish in the fridge and then I'm gonna sit down and enjoy my breakfast. Be sure to like this video guys, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, subscribe if you're not already, and I will see you in my next video. Mm, looks so good.